my client Jason had gone to this bar to purchase beer. On purchase of the beer, he paid the set by Google Pay. On payment, the cashier confirmed the payment. The waiter went beyond his rights and assaulted my clients. So all throughout the media, this fact has not come on. The first and most important part is this whole incident which is captured on the CCTV which has not been produced. Only fake viral messages have been sent that some minister's son has sorted. From the outset, falsity is prevailing in this complaint filed by them. So, this waiter had no business. If at all there was no payment done, your duty was to request him return the beer. At the most, you could have taken away the beer. And you had to act politely. But there was an incident of assault which was thrown down and hammered. Then there was a scuffle. A second waiter joins this incident. Second person hammers him. In that this said tourist who had no business absolutely and what is shocking is they file a complaint against him when there are four person is to one you all should judge and ask for yourself whether it is possible that one person will give threat to four persons or four persons can give threat to one. So he all four gang up against him break his leg and that is the reason he walks unsteadily and he was in pain that doesn't mean that he was drunk he will clarify today what is the incident which happened but in this manner, the whole incident happened and the video posted is only the second part. It is only the part of after the assault, after the shirt is torn, after the, after the leg is broken. And also, you have seen that, okay, even at that stage, if you say there was rescuing of the waiter, there was nothing in your hand to come and get a glass beer bottle and to hammer him further, make attempt and the waiter goes and pulls the shutter and cuts his head open for which he got four stitches. So therefore, these acts are nothing are comparable to acts like goons. So today we as Govans, I am questioning the Govan public, you should come and support these Govan people. Are we asking this type of tourism where this person takes law in their own hands? Recently you have seen what is happening in North Goa, where in hotel, what kinds of incidents are going on? So are we supporting this kind of incidents or are we supposed to support Govan persons who have done nothing wrong and to top of it, the Media has also not taken any side. I would also request the media that any time there is a complaint, you should also inquire from the other side. Unfortunately, till today there was no side. Even actually we have seen when the SP has made a statement, he said that prima facie he thinks that these persons are assaulted, which would not be correct. So that, that is the need for clarification. Maybe he has not read a complaint, but today we are assembled here to clarify that this was an NC, uh, 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 assault, which was a brutal assault by four persons is to one. And she came out to support a friend because you all must be aware that under the constitution you have right to prevent crime also. You can use as much force as you have to prevent a crime. If tomorrow anything happens to this boy, who is responsible? So to save him from further damage, we do not know what would happen at that because those were the tourists who were drunk. Till today there is no blood test to sample taken of them to say that they were drunk. And just because his leg was broken, he walks unsteadily. It doesn't mean that he, is, he was drunk and he was in inebriated state. So this brave woman has actually stopped that incident. She must have used certain words, but that was all in retaliation. That was to in right of exercise of self-defense to protect a crime from happening. So when this incident happened, we condemned these acts of the sad waiter. Firstly, under the National Highway, the Honorable Supreme Court has banned this bars. We do not know how he's running it. We do not know how he's serving beer at 11.30. We need, we want action on that. We are requesting the Honorable CM, Honorable uh, uh, Home Minister. We also request the SP to look into the complaint Please look into our incident, please read our complaint, please obtain the CCTV from that hotel and bring the true picture. As you have seen from the outset, this press conference started that a minister's son has assaulted. Drunk couple goes and assaulted. This is not a case. This is a case where we are victimized. We have been assaulted. His leg is broken. A shutter has been hit on his head. He has been bleeding. Who is this waiter who has been, uh, who has needed rescue? What has happened to him? What are the injuries on him? There is no even a medical to show that he was drunk. So therefore this registering of FIR is an abuse, so I would request the Honorable SP to review the said registration and close the said complaint that there is no evidence, because that will be visible on that CCTV camera of that uh, restaurant. Now as regarding the other part, we have also returned to the Excise Commissioner to cancel the license. To according to us, you cannot serve beer continuously, this incident happened at 11.30. We have also requested, we are going to take further steps. If in case our complaint is not registered, because we have given this complaint on Tuesday evening. So if it is not registered, as per the Honorable Supreme Court, we are going to wait for 48 hours. 
If it is not registered, we are going to file the complaint to the SP asking him to register it, saying that a PI is refused. If they do not know, we are going to the court. And we are going to take all legal measures to book this person who have violated the law. And we will take all steps to defend them because this, according to us, are innocent persons. This was a framed case, a false and fabric case. Even today, the case is registered against unknown person, but some reporters, uh, some person have, uh, I would not say reporters, I would take back, I would say some person are uh, sending on media that. Uh, the said case is registered against is registered against unknown person, and the clarification that uh, the minister has given that is not his son. So, in this whole incident, all falsehood has been peddled. I would. Son Fatado speaking, and uh, I'm just going to speak about exactly what happened on that night. On Sunday night, as I was dropping her back to her place, we just stopped by this restaurant called Viva Goa. I merely walked into the bar just to purchase two beers, and that's all. I told the cashier. The, I asked the cashier how much for it. He told me two sixty. I paid him two forty, and I took the G pay code, and I told him payment ho gaya. Check karo. The waiter comes up to me and he's like, "Aapka payment hua nahi?" I was like, "Please go and check." The cashier himself confirmed that the payment was done. The cashier himself, when the police on that same night of the incident asked the cashier, the cashier himself told the police that the payment was done. After this incident. Between the cashier, it was not even an argument. I take the beer cans and I walk out towards my car. This waiter just comes from behind, pushes me out of nowhere, just pushes me out of nowhere, and he just hits me from behind. Me and this waiter get into a tussle. After this incident, another person who was at the restaurant, who was their staff itself, ganged up upon me. Two of them ganged up upon me, and there was that tussle between two of them versus me. I was alone. That's when these Kerala tourists. That's when I'm just taking back. That's when the tourists entered. The tourists entered in order. They are saying that they came in order to protect the waiter, whereas I was the one who was being bashed up. They don't come to stop the incident at all. The tourists just enter the scene. They start bashing me up. The scene got so bad. I was even leaving after that. I was so helpless. My knee snapped. It was all of them versus me. My knee snapped to the point where I could not even walk. I couldn't stand straight. My knee absolutely snapped. I was exiting the premises because I was absolutely helpless. It was only only my girlfriend that was sitting in the car. I was so helpless. I was exiting the premises. That's when again they gang up on me, bash me against the floor. They throw me down on the floor, and that's when she comes out in order to rescue me. They verbally abuse her to such an extent. In retaliation, and the video which is going viral is just turned completely in their favor. The video that is going viral, even in the video, the tourists were drinking. He had a glass in his hand. He got a beer bottle to bash me up. They pushed me against the shutter. They bashed the shutter on my head. In the video itself, which is being circulated, it is so clear that I am the victim here and getting hammered from all directions. And I am speaking on behalf of myself and Jason. So as clearly uh, seen in the video that's gone uh, so viral, where everyone thinks that it's us who are at fault, which is completely unfair. Because initially, as Jason explained what happened, he I wasn't part of it that time as I was in the car. I hear a noise and I tend to come out to help him, and to see him in in such a distorted state was super sad. I had to barge in and help him out. Go to see these two um, tourists who were like not even part of the situation, barged in, pouncing on him, knowing that he was super weak, which is super sad. It still makes me emotional to this day uh, with everything that's happened. Seeing my loved one at such a critical state, tell me how can I not barge in and not help him out? Would any of y'all do that to any of your loved ones? It is part of a natural instinct to go and help your loved ones, and mind you all, like it was just the two of us against all of them. All right, so we have nothing else to say than if you look clearly in the video, you see the people who are abusing us, are even having a glass of beer in their hands, who were clearly under the influence of alcohol. So. I think everything's out there. We also want to clarify that that is the other part. The part which is viral is what was shared, but the part that was prior, which was all on CCTV, isn't shared yet. Why is that? 
I would kindly convince the owner of the hotel to please put forth the video to show what exactly happened. And we have nothing else to deny because everything's out there. Tell them about it. So also, I clearly remember the tourists are continuously verbally abusing her. They're using filthy language. The tourists reach the point where they have given me dead threats. They were like, just because you are a Goan, I will teach you Goan's lesson. Today, they did not just target me. They targeted all of our Goan brothers here. Yeah. At this point, I myself, being in this incident, I feel so unsafe in this place. It is such a sad scene. I feel completely shattered, completely unsafe with all the threats that I have received from them on the spot. They have given her threats. And all of this is not in the recording which is going viral. That part is all on CCTV footage of the said restaurant Viva Goa which has not been produced. We Goans today, I just asked our Goans to stand with us today and understand today it was me who was in this. It can be any one of you who goes to buy anything and can be attacked upon for almost nothing, for no reason at all. I please just request everybody to see the real picture and I just pray that necessary action be taken against those people involved. The only one thing that I'm saying is, see, anyways, these people have turned the entire case around. They have turned it to such a level where we look like we are the bad one. We were not drunk at all. We were not drunk. There was no alcohol test done. There was a medical done on me. I have four stitches on my head as well. It's just so clear. I started bleeding on the spot. My head was shattered. Everything. These people just beat me up so brutally. It is beyond brutal. The only one thing I would ask is for fair justice to be taken, for a fair investigation to be opened up, that so that the real matter comes out to light, just so that we are not we are not the victims of something we did not create. They have created it. They have started it. And all the blame has come on us through false media publications. And today our families are so shattered and so sad just to just hear all of this. It's a very miserable scene.